How's it going, guys? Ian and Brett here with some coverage of the European Open from Spin TV and LCGM8. Let's uh, check out the players, Brett. We got Paul Macbeth, reigning world champ. Kid's a beast, dude. Making it look easy. Seriously. Got Will Schuster here. Banging some putts. That guy has an absolute cannon. I've seen him throw 550 on a Heiser. Ridiculous. Unreal. Got David Felberg, the professor of disc golf. Solid player for a long time, man. Superstar. Yeah, right? Can't go wrong. Kills it. And uh, Jeremy Colling, probably one of the best forehanders in the world, if not the best. Him, him and Waisaki are uh, pretty ridiculous. He makes it look easy. He doesn't even try. Right? And uh, Paul McBeth in the lead. Will's one shot behind. And uh, Felberg and uh, Colling not too far back. And here is Paul McBeth on one. And uh, how far is this one, Brett? What do we got here? Uh, this one is... 302. 302. And uh, feet. Macbeth just parked it. And uh, Will, also, also a really nice drive. Matching him. No yeah. problem. Yeah. Dave uh, Felberg with his throw right here. Looks like he put a little too much ante on that one, but yeah, kind of tagged tree. Fortunate uh, kick, though. Made the Mando, yeah. Yeah, he's back of the fairway, too. And here's Jeremy with his drive, and oh, that one came out a little early, it looked like. But, uh, Decent kick. He's throwing a forehand for a second shot, and it's a downhill pin. It's a tough up, and a little long on that one. Yeah, slid down a little there. Yeah. Might have gone with the backhand on that one. Here's uh, Dave with the second shot. Looks like he's just laying up. Easy par. Yeah. Look at that flag blowing. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty windy. Super windy, yeah. Yeah. And so here's Jeremy coming back at the pin for his par. Oh, chains out for a four, it looks like. I've watched a ton of his uh, European Open footage. I don't think I've ever seen it this windy out there. It's usually pretty calm. There's that Dave tapping in his three, Jeremy tapping in his four, and here come Will and Paul to tap in their birdies, right? Yeah. These guys are too good, dude. Just parking it. <laughs> Unreal. I think Paul was either throwing his uh, rock three or a player there. I didn't catch which one it was. He throws that rock three all day. That Anova, it's... Uh, they're, they're new to disc. He just carved it right down the fairway. It's yeah. Like, yeah, they had a home run with that one. Too easy. Yeah. So here's second shot. It's pretty good dog leg right on this one. And, uh, looks like Paul came up a little short. You can either throw the forehand, the uh, the ante backhand, or I've, I've seen uh, Dave usually throws a roller on this one. You know, Will pumps out a really nice ante backhand. He just crushes this thing. Yeah, this guy throws so far. And he actually goes a little He's bit long. long. Yeah. yeah. This one's about 380. Huge bomb. And here's Dave with the roller. That one's looking good. Jared was telling me there's a little bit of right to left wind on this one. So it kind of kept it up and made it go a little long, I think. Oh, okay. But still, he's down there, right? Yeah. He's putting. Yeah. And here's Jeremy with the forehand laser beam. He just crushes this thing. Oh, my God. Definitely one of the best forehanders in the world. Unreal. So here's Paul with his second shot. Looks like he came up a little bit short on his, his first, just laying up for a three. And let's see if Dave can bang this birdie. Ooh, oh, little yeah. step putt love That's right there. <laughs> nice putt. And uh, see if Will can match him. No problem. Oh, yeah, no problem. Makes it look too easy, right? Right, yeah. Just, just a little tappy. Yeah. And I... Uh, this is Jeremy's look, too. Oh, Ooh, air melt that one. Wow. Got to wonder if the crowd's getting to him or something, you know? Yeah, a lot of people out that's there. A lot, that's a pretty good gallery right there. Yeah. There's Paul tapping in his three. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. All right, uh, Paul and Will are tied at minus 21. Dave's uh, four strokes back, and we are on hole two here. No, this is th or three. Three, 509. 509. This is a beast. Lots of trees in the Lots here of too, trees. You know? where, do, where do you throw this one? Right? Yeah. Will's roller attempt looked great until it hit the ground. And then it just kind of skidded out. Yeah, it looked like it was going to take off. Yeah. Dave throws the roller, and that one's looking good. I think he's played here before, right? Is that a... Just a couple times. Experienced line there? I think he's multiple uh, European Open uh, uh, champ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe so. Very nice. Yeah. Paul Macbeth with his rip. Nice Andy right in the middle. Nice shot. Yeah. And here's Big Germ. This guy's so tall. 
Yeah, it doesn't even look like he's thrown. Yeah. He just gives it a little flick and there it goes. Yeah, it's just a giant whip. So smooth. Right? That looked pretty good. Looks like he cut a tree late, but he's uh, still pretty far down the fairway. And this is Will's second. Crushing it. This is a tough hole. I mean, it is two like really good shots. Yeah, for here. the backhand, it's a pretty fast green too. It kind of slopes off in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Kind of the forehander advantage for Jeremy on this hole. Almost want to say, and he's using it. Wow, <laughs> unbelievable! Up uh, 509 feet in two shots, no problem. Even on this tight, tight fairway. Paul's second shot. Looks like he came up a little short on that one. That's, okay. that's Uncharacteristic. Long grass on that one. Or yeah, something. definitely. Uh, definitely slowed yeah. him down pretty quick. Slowed it down. Yeah. Felbert's second shot's looking pretty good. Hold on though. Uh, looks he's pretty much pin high. He's gonna have a little uh, uphill putt for his bird. And we're looking at Will's third right here. Yeah, should be an easy four for him. Getting it close. Yeah. Yeah. Paul's third shot. Yeah, pretty much parked for a par. This is Dave's birdie putt. Up, pretty good uphill putt. Kind of about a 30, 35 footer. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang. Nice putt, Dave. Have you watched his putting clinic? I think I showed it to you, right? On his... Uh, I think I need to watch it again. <laughs> I think we all do, man, after watching that. Here's Paul with his par putt. Some alliteration right there. Bang it right on the stick. Yeah, no worries. And there comes Big German tapping his four. Or, uh, this is Bird, I want to say, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Real nice bird for him right there. It was almost a lay-in for him. Yeah, it was. He had two great shots. And there's going to be Will's four. No worries there. All right, on a whole four here. 328, Brett. 328. Yeah. Still tied at the top there. Macbeth and Schusterick. And here's Felberg. Pumping it down. This one's a little bit downhill. And it has a really fast green. It really slopes off, like, right off the basket and into the side. Yeah, that downhill on the backside. Yeah, you almost got that, the forehander advantage again. And Big Germ's mm -hmm. using it again. Getting pretty close. I see a lot of people throw putters on this one to kind of just finish it straight, you know? Yeah, hold it right down the middle. Yeah. Wills went off a little bit to the right. It's going to have a scary look for two. And this is Paul's drive. Looked pretty good. Let's see if it can hold on. Oh, yeah, hold up. Oh, there's that fast green. Yep, downhill on the back. Yep. Looks like Dave's just landed for a par there. Scary putt. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. death putty. Doesn't look very fun. <laughs> yeah. And let's see if Will's going to run it or do the same. Oh, no. Yeah. Doing the same. Too scary. Yeah. Good, good choice. Paul can definitely run this one with an uphill putt, though. Oh, oh. just high. Let's see if Jeremy runs it. Oh, at the basket. Ooh, got saved. <laughs> yeah, it didn't roll down the hill at least. There's Paul tapping his par. Everybody cleaning it up here. Yeah. A little par frame on this one? I think so. Next hole. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got here? Hole five's coming up here. 308 footer. This looks like a nasty hole. This this course they call it the Beast. And yeah, it, it looks like a lot of tight fairways. Yeah, here. you could almost call every every hole the Beast. Look at that little tunnel. Right <laughs> Look at there. that. I I know I would hit so many trees yeah. if I threw there. They just bury it right ooh, down the middle. Ooh, Felberg's a little too much turn, but wow. finds the magic window. Ooh, tree love. Wow, I think maybe he knows the Felberg secret route right there. Right, yeah, <laughs> that's that's a veteran maneuver. Right yeah, there. totally. He's played this course a couple times. 
Jeremy piped it up the middle pretty good. Kaylee came up a little short, little left. Will gets a Ooh, lovely kiss. tree wow. kick right there. Very nice. So that's one of the best drives I've seen in this hole. And here's McBeast. Oh, oh. trying to hold. Yeah, it looks like he got a nice tree kick. He's, he's pretty close. He's, he's puttable. Everybody's looking at it. Yeah. Here's, here's Jeremy with the forehand putt. Oh. A little too much Annie on that one. Here we're looking at Paul's two attempt. Oh, no. Oh, wow. That looks like me. Paul, Paul bangs those like 99 out of yeah. 100, right? Look like oh, a gimme. That's a tough one. Oh. Dave taps in his two, no problem. No doubt around that. For sure. And here comes Will. Power of the beard. Yeah, right? <laughs> I overheard him talking to his caddy, and he was saying that he, he grew out the beard because the Europeans were giving him crap for looking like a Yankee with the, the clean shaven. Wow. See, he's been growing that beard since day law in May. That's extra weight right there. He's got to carry that around. <laughs> it's epic, man. It's a great beard, though. I actually had to shave mine for, for work, dude. It's so sad. Uh, uh, I, I miss my beard. Maybe he hides his mini in there. <laughs> I think you might. <laughs> Will taking the lead by one stroke right there. And uh, we're on to hole. What do we got here, Brett? We're up hole to six. Number six, 551. 551. This is a tough, tough hole. You're playing a really tight alley. It's kind of, it kind of opens up. Ooh, that one got through. That was a nice shot from Will. Just nice and smooth. <sighs> Jeremy's Destroys got that forehand advantage. Yeah. JR was, t you know, telling me about the, you know, the forehanders have the advantage, though, because you can always look where you're throwing, right? You know, with backhand, yeah, you, you got to take your eyes off it. Yeah, you backwards, exactly. Yeah. The Paul crushing one out here. Beautiful drive. Yeah, JR was filming the away camera, and uh, Yuha was on the, uh, the camera behind the guys. But uh, it looks pretty crowded back there. Ooh. Pretty good second shot from Dave. Comes up a little short, but not bad. And this is a pretty scary shot for a four-hander because it fades off pretty good. Oh, yeah, heads up. Oh, buddy. That one went down the hill a little bit. Will's shot's looking uh, pretty good. Maybe just a uh, hair left of the pin, but uh, pretty much pin high. It's kind of a scary putt for it. Lots of trees. Yeah, there are just a couple here and there. And Paul, after his beautiful drive, has a beautiful upshot. Oh, that's how we do it. Wow, parts for a three. No worries there. So you can see Jeremy skipped down the hill a little bit. That's a fast green for a forehand. He's coming back at it. Oh, a little left there. And Dave's got a look at a three, but it's about a 40 footer, 40, 45 footer. Oh, <laughs> no. Just off the cage, brutal. Here's Will's putt. This is about a 35-footer 30, downhill. Pretty yeah. scary. Downhill scary putt. Oh, yeah. It buries it. Really nice putt from Will right scary there. Scary putt right there. Yeah. Well, Paul's parked. You know, he's got he's to he's keep chase, you know, keep his lead. Yeah, great run. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me just let me just finish this off, boys. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Paul tearing that, that hole up, man. And there's Dave tapping his four. All right, uh, Will still with a one-stroke lead over Paul. Dave not too far behind. And we are on to hole seven here. 207. This is shorty, Brett. This is almost a gimme. Brett. Yeah, this is pretty, this should be a part two, right? You know, if if you don't get a two, you're feeling pretty crappy about yourself. And uh, Will got pretty close. A little kiss off the tree there. Yeah. Looks like Paul Stern. I believe, I think it's an SP2. JR was raving to me about those. He says they're pretty awesome driving putters. They kind of, you can put them on hyzer to the flip flat and just fly straight. That one looked pretty good. There's Dave's rip. He looked pretty part yeah, too, right? Close, yeah. Yeah. Very similar. And there's Big Germ. Pretty nice, maybe just a little bit right. So it looks like Will has had a tough lie. Just laying up for a two. Oh, it was a nice putt there. Yeah, Big Germ with a two. We bury that two. Felberg, no problem with two. Oh, yeah. And here's Paul with a two. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We will catch you around.